Hey guys, this is Aaron. This is the moment we have been waiting for. If you've been to my PD or you heard me talk, we have been waiting for Google to finally release the parent guardian update notification piece, and it's finally here. Guys, I'm so excited. I read about it the other night and I almost stayed up. I couldn't sleep. I was so excited to share this with you. So let's take a look at it based on what we know so far. When you go into your classroom, google.com for the very first time and you go to your regular classroom you click on students up here like you normally do to see all your students and what it's going to do is you're going to see this new option over here it's guardian email summaries which is going to allow guardians to receive summaries of the students work and announcements and they're going to be able to choose whether they want that daily or weekly um, they'll have the opportunity to pick how they want to be notified which is awesome. Um, and so this example right here, oh, it's not currently working, will give them that right. And so what you can do is right here is you can invite them. And so if I wanted to invite the guardians right here, I could add their email and away we go. We could click this invite and they're going to grab this. It is, what it's going to tell them is add class to guardian email summaries. So they're going to receive a summary of the student's work and their announcements. And this will be great because you'll be able to add all the classes you teach. So click this add to class. Now they've got an invite. And you can do this for all of them. The beauty of it is once you have it set up, you can email everyone of in terms of guardians in their class at one time. You can hit this if you say you have it all going through, email all guardians, and it's going to go right to your, your Gmail account, and it's all going to be typed up here in this message, and away you go, which is going to be super, super nice um, in case you just need to send a message out to parents at, at that point. So it's there. It's great, and it's good stuff. You can obviously turn it on and off. This is going to allow them to see what's happening in the classroom with them. All right, so let's take a look at what happens when you send that invite to a parent in the Guardian thing. So we were taking a look earlier in the Google Classroom. Um, we sent an invite, and I just did a mock one and sent it to myself. So now what's going to happen is the Guardian, the parent, is going to receive this email and right here it says you can get a weekly summary of the missing and upcoming work with new teacher posts and so then I can click accept and this is what's going to happen they're going to get an email summary it's going to look like this I can choose when I want it weekly daily or no summaries I just don't want to be updated I'll, I'll check it out myself and then I can pick the time of when I want to be notified of the information which is a really great feature so I can go through and, and, and pick that time which is going to be super super nice now for the guardians this is what they're going to see this is in the help but just we can go through it so you can understand the parent side they're going to get a summary that includes the missing work Work that's related to the time the email is sent, an idea of what upcoming work is coming, and activity. So they're going to be able to see the announcements, the assignments, and questions. Um, this is going to be really, really nice. Um, and then there's obviously information of how to update and, and all that good stuff. And so this is what the email is going to look like when they get it right here the missing, what's due, the activity and they'll have that then for all the different classes. So there is no reason for parents to, to not understand what's going on in the class. There's no way for kids to work around the system, so to speak, if teachers are using Classroom. Um, and now, without adding one more layer of work to the teacher workload, everybody can get on the same page. Guys, this is going to be great. So let's wrap it up here, which is so exciting. And it's one more way in which you can house things in one area in terms of Google Classroom for parents to be on board, have that communication feature with their own child, 
as well as be aware of what the teacher is doing without having to create a whole other website or something public. Guys, this is going to be great. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Let's go make it happen.